Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 34 of Let's Play Mario & Luigi Partners in Time. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay guys, I've done a good bit of training, so everybody is now at level 29. As for the badge setup, I decided for Mario to have the Ulti Free Badge, and Luigi to have the Treasure Badge. Baby Mario gets the Hit Pow Badge, and Baby Luigi is pretty much the same. So I figured this will be a good setup, because I mean, you do get some good items from enemies here in the final dungeon. And I figured why not let Luigi have the Treasure Badge, and since this is the last dungeon, we're going to be using our Bro items a lot. Just to make things a little bit easier on ourselves. There's no reason not to. Besides, Luigi might be able to get us more Bro items. So this is Shroob Castle over here. Look at that statue on the top screen, it's so vain. By hinges and handles! The Cobalt Star is reacting with extreme agitification! Oh, probably at that door. So, would it allow us to pass? I took care of those claws! And now the door is open! Alright! Good star! Stupendous! Now we can gain access, if you follow. The shrooms have certainly made this their stronghold. You think? Loathing cycle activated! Remain alert and keep your eyeballs open. All of you, back to adventure! No. What? Uh, Luigi? Let's <laughs> do it! Come on, after all that crap we went through! We haven't forgotten Star Shrine, man. You owe us big, Luigi. Okay, so here's our first bit of new enemies. Tashrubas. They're everything like the Tanubas. Only they attack a hell of a lot faster. Let's put it that way. I'm actually gonna miss this on purpose, and you're gonna, here's why. Remember, Luigi has the treasure badge, and I figured why not just use your weaker bro items to take out the enemies. Like so. Do that. And you'll probably get items that are a little bit better, like an Ultra Drop, for instance. Trading a green shell for an Ultra Drop? Very great trade. As far as I'm concerned. In fact, you can probably use this as a universal strategy for grinding, if you so choose. To get yourself really great items. Remember, Mario can pretty much do the bulk of the damage, and not cost you a bro item at all. Oh, probably they had no choice in the matter, unfortunately. But I say a green shell will still be enough. There. 69! Two Ultra Drops there, wow! One from the enemy we killed, and one thanks to the treasure badge. Things are really looking up. Oh, we got a new enemy here. This is called a Snooze Orb, I believe. This guy can be a bit of a pain in the ass. I think this guy can actually give you a red shell. So hopefully we'll do enough damage to kill this one and then the other one. There! We should be able to get two red shells for that. Yes, we do! Making a net gain! Remember, if you follow this strategy, you won't have to worry about an item shortage. That's for sure. You get two red peppers for that. We see a lot of blue pipes here, but we can't reach any of them. I suppose we'll create pathways to them later on in the game, like we did with a uh, Thwomp Volcano. Two red peppers, two copy flowers... 
70 coins, okay. Okay, it looks like the only way to get to that block is, of course, we let the babies take over. And yeah, as you can see, it's gonna be another one of those places. Bring it on. Herbs all come in handy later on, I suppose. Yes, I know you could have thrown them upwards to the right, but unfortunately, the babies have to make another jump, and they can't do that. Therefore, you have to take the long route. There we go. Now we should be able to advance. Don't get too reckless here, you don't really want to start all this over. Oh god, now I got this! Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, let's take this old detour first. Let's get whatever item is over here. Two red shells, good. I think that was well worth it. Now I've practiced some of the final dungeon, but not all of it. Like, probably a good stretch of it will be done in this video. Without going over what I haven't gone through yet. But at least none of the dungeons in this game are very complicated. They're practically easy to figure out. Uh, I'm not gonna take any risks here. Just play it safe. I'm just gonna use the hammer over here. Um. I gotta hit a box that was in Princess Shroops. Uh, never mind. Yeah. I think we're gonna go to the right now. Right now, literally. We're going to the right now, right now. Let's dance. I mean, why not? It's only one of his. Do I really need a red shell that badly? Yeah, probably not. I my cards, right? I won't be able to use anything. Looks like those snooze orbs have got a nice bit of defense. But we still managed to whittle it down its HP by using one rush. Oh god. Okay, so let's take a look at the inventory right now, especially for Ultra Drops. We've got like 36 now. At this rate, I might be able to get 40 before we get to the last boss of the game. Also, I believe that later on in the game we'll run into some enemies that can give you the best equipment you can get. Unfortunately, when I try this in practice mode, it's not guaranteed you'll get it even if you do use the treasure badge. You might just get the other item instead, whether it be a bro item or a healing item. You just better be very lucky to get the best armor. But we're gonna try. Remember, I'll probably keep trying until I get it. Make no mistake about it. Okay, I think it was around this point that I stopped. Like, midway through this kind of floor. And it's massive! I mean, look at it! There's a lot of crap on the go. Like, just so much! Okay, I think I'm gonna go with copy flowers this time. I'll keep focusing on one target until it's dead, then go for the other one. Eh, I kinda botched it there, but that's okay. It only did like 12 damage, wow. I mean, that's what happens when it takes a while to kill one enemy, the second one's gonna be even tougher because it takes so damn long. There. Now we practically lost no resources as a result. Well, I could have been lucky to actually gain a red shell from that other one we killed. Uh, let's take a look over here. Three ultra drops, wow. That's gonna make Tashruba grinding a little bit faster. May not even need it later on. Let's go. 
Ducky. Okay, here's a new enemy, the Soul Bubble. Wow, I did really bad. I get hit both times. Oy vey. Um, I think we're gonna focus on our red shells over here first. Now, I might have Luigi go for the, uh, soul bubble over here. We're not gonna use a cannonballer for this. Remember, you can't use shells. Let's see what items these things will drop. Okay, now I see the position of the head determines where it's going to attack. That kind of makes perfect sense now. That's why I gotta attack both times. Wow, this is one bad battle that I got hit every single attack. Really, it was every single attack that I took damage. Okay, one up mushrooms and soul bubbles drop, and Mario is a level 30. Great, that's just what we need. Aw, that's not what I needed. I wanted four. Uh, HP, no. Attack power, probably not this time. Oh, come on, really? One for both brothers? This has been a bad luck battle even after it ends. Damn. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna go with super drops here. And then a regular mushroom on Luigi. Remember, since I don't have the badges that allow for healing, I'll probably have to use healing items a bit more. Oh, I just came down that way. Just wanted to make sure, you know. Oh, there's a Teshruba here, too. Dire free badge. Don't really care about that, because I got the ultra free, ulti free badge. Which is substantially better. Oh. We fight together. Okay, that was also very easy, as per usual. Got two Ultra Drops there. Let's see, what other items can we get? Oh, three Copy Flowers. When the Snooze Orbs, like, fall asleep at the start of battle, they kind of remind me of the Forky's enemies from Mario RPG. Like, they sleep at the start of battle, too. And whenever you hit them, they wake up. They're also known to being very high in defense as well. Okay, I think we cleared out this room, did we? Yes. Alright, let's focus by going west first. Oh, here's a new enemy, the Shrewbrex. There, avoided disaster there. Okay, I'm gonna focus on the Shrewbrex first by making it shorter. Ah, damn, I was trying to attack jump with Mario a second, but didn't get enough time. Okay, I think what I should do is probably just use the, uh, copy flowers on, say... No, not copy flowers. I think I'm gonna go with the, uh, green shells here. Remember, I can't target the soul bubble, but I can go after the shrewbrex. The good thing about the shrewbrex, it drops, like, the best equipment for babies. If you are lucky. There. You don't get enough time to react from these guys. That's a total pain in the ass. They're really the stronger version of... Oh, dear God. Wait, this could actually be good! Wow, I did not expect that attack to come. Think of it this way. The Shrewbrex got revived with less health. That means I can kill another one. So I'll have another chance to get that piece of equipment for the babies. Well, that's the thing that's annoying about the soul bubbles, is that they have the ability to resurrect. Yes! 100 point pants! If you don't get 100 point pants, you'll get mixed flowers instead. 
necessarily a bad thing, but I want the pants. 100 point pants. No complaints here. These are the best pants around. Wash gently. Or maybe I don't want to wash them at all. Hint, hint. Okay, that sounds creepy. So I'll need another pair of 100 point pants, and then I don't have to worry about those. But there's other enemies around that I gotta look for later on in this dungeon to get the best pants for the adults. They're called Supreme Slacks. There's actually two enemies I can drop them. But I believe they're right close to each other. And Baby Mario's at level 30! Alright! He's getting used to those new pairs of pants already! Uh, let's see. I'm probably gonna go with HP this time. Wow, that was actually very good. Now Baby Mar- Baby Luigi's at level 30. He's still gonna need another pair of 100 pair of pants. Or 100 point pants, actually. Aww. Oh well. Every little bit counts. Okay, I think I should go this way first. Oh. No, I didn't want to jump as Mario! Oh, I didn't want to jump at the same time either. A lot of things didn't go my way. Um, here's the thing. This could be very tricky to decide here. These guys are very annoying as is. So why don't I go for the ice flowers and do damage to the Shrewbrexes? Damn it, I forget about that attack. Oh my god, they attack both! Okay, so I'm pretty much just gonna have to focus on these guys here. Hope I can kill both with one shell. There, I did. Okay, so even if one gets resurrected, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because then I'll probably get a third chance. Sadly, when they're, like, uh, not s squished, you cannot avoid that attack. Ever. No matter how hard you try. It sucks, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Just make sure you heal afterwards. Wow, I got it completely wrong. Oh my god, I got it wrong again! My reaction time is uber shit here! Like, I'm gonna take every single attack from these guys. I better heal after this fight. Like, usually this game kind of has less about skill and more about absolute reflexes. That's pretty much how it goes. Uh, what the hell, let's use another cannonballer. Get ourselves a one-up mushroom. There. 100 point pants, 100 point pants. Give me the pants. No! Oh man, I get three mixed flowers. First world problems. One at 100 point pants, mixed flowers. You know the most expensive bro items you get for free now? Thanks to that. But I wanted the pants! How dare you deny me my dream. Okay, you remember this here little contraption? Think of Gritzy Desert. Yeah, we have to do something like that again. Only with these devices over here. So I'm gonna stop the video, and in the next episode, we're gonna try to, like, uh, move around and, uh, get some stuff cleared out. See ya, everybody.